Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We're playing this Tengu Summoner of Gozag, and uh, I gotta be honest with you guys, it's been forever since I touched this character. I guess I shouldn't really have started him uh, in the middle of the CSTC challenge, but I thought I would have more time in between weeks to just sort of play whatever, and I haven't really. Uh, it's, it's long since over now, but I, you know, didn't really feel like getting back into recording right away, so, uh, but before I get going on a brand new game, I do want to finish this one. Wow, look at this flail! I bet you guys remember me getting this flail, but I sure don't. That's pretty good. Wow. All right. Um, cool. And I got, I got some stuff. All right, I'm wearing cursed leather, but I can't take it off. How are my spells like? They're pretty alright. I got Canine Familiar, Call Amp, Lightning Spire, okay. Uh, and I seem to have picked up, oh, Book of the Warp, that's right, with Summon Forest. That's cool. Well. And I got some gold, although not a lot. I must be pretty, yeah, I'm only like level 9. Alright. Okay. There's a lot of stairs on this level for some reason. Have I found Lair or anything? I have, but I was I was on Dungeon 9 for some reason, and it looks like I ran into Joseph. Do I have summoned butterflies? Who summoned butterflies? What? All right, I don't know, guys. What's in Lair? Did I run away from something in Lair? No, I just haven't gone downstairs yet. All right. I'm not sure exactly why, but it looks like... I went down Dungeon 9, ran away, and now I'm going to Lair. I'm going to just trust that I had a good plan when I did this last uh, forever ago. Uh, oh, I'm training, training stuff. I'm working on that flail. Good, good. And uh, fighting and dodging seems pretty reasonable. Uh, looks like my summons are all right. Like, I don't know, I got a warg. I mean, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. And I'm like, uh, Gozag, right? So I don't get any anything to eat all game. Okay. I think that's fine. It's usually not a big deal. I just had forgotten about it. And I just, uh, I don't think I really need to train more spell casting to counter it or anything. Aww, dogs are so cute now. Yeah, okay, so I'm a little bit fragile, but my damage output's pretty good, I guess. And I'm just gonna, like, try and push on so I don't have to keep re-summoning my warg. Uh, rest a little bit less than I otherwise might. No resists. I resist cold. Swappable rings? No. Ring invisibility is cool, but I can't really use it, so. Uh, so I think I can kind of remember this character being pretty good, and uh, finding a plus nine flail in my hands tells me I was probably right about that. Um, I wanted to rem uh, I wanted to look at my macros here because I remember there's one that I haven't set actually. I think in the targeting macro menu, I want X to act like V. Yes. Okay. Great. I knew I had a third macro somewhere, and I just couldn't remember what it was. And then uh, the other day, I made another new account and like tried to do something, and it acted funny, and I remembered that's what I'm missing. XX is something I only ever hit accidentally, uh, never on purpose, and so I said it's do something innocuous. Um, that, that specifically for it to like leave me in X mode as opposed to taking me out of X mode which seems like the worst friggin' default behavior you could have imagined if you tried. Ow, 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 ow. See you later. Oh, 
No, oh, I don't have to wait. Like, I don't have to wait till I'm hungry to eat stuff. <laughs> I'm not gonna be getting any chunks. What is there for food in the game? There's a whole. Oh, I'm carrying all of it basically, except there's that neat ration in uh in a shop. Okay. Uh, book. No, wait. What is going on? Sorry. Um. Yeah, I don't want any of this. I'm not gonna learn any hexes. Uh, Tango are pretty dreadful at those. Yeah, see, we can totally take out this stuff. Uh, let's identify, I don't know, potions to heal wounds are pretty good, so that's good. Um, I've been playing I've been playing a fair bit off camera, like when I got, I, I, I went on vacation uh, after CSDC finished and, you know, so there was a long time that I wasn't playing this character because I was playing CSDC, uh, but then I finished that and uh, And I was still, I still kind of wanted to play, but I didn't really want to sit down and like, it's, it's kind of hard work doing, well, I guess more what I was looking for is I want to do play a little faster. Uh, when I, when I have stop and explain everything, uh, I get through games pretty slowly. Um, I'm not sure what to do about this Hydra, actually. I can just leave him alone. Seems pretty good. Yeah, there's really no call to do anything else. All right, see you later, Hydra. Whoa! Oh my gosh, no way. That looks awful. Mm, yeah, so let's just, let's just stay the heck away from that. Huh, so I guess uh, all this... All this to say that I'm a little bit out of practice here um, with commentating. Uh, it's just been a while since I've really done it. And this character also I'm a bit out of practice with. Ugh, Tango are so fragile. They always seem like you can sort of handle everything because your damage output is actually pretty reasonable. But it's pretty easy to die accidentally. Uh, because your, your damage input is pretty high too. <laughs> you, uh, you take a lot of damage. Like, oh my gosh. All right, so like that Hydra, all those Hydras, no thanks. We're just not going to go there. All these Blink Frogs, not good news at all. But with a bunch of summons, I think we ought to be all right. And I flew here. That gives Tengu a, an evasion and speed bonus. Wow. These guys are... I just, I don't know. I feel like I've been playing really badly recently, too. Largely, I suspect, because I'm not on camera. Uh, I don't know. I've just been playing carelessly. Um because I feel like I can get away with it, and then I die, and, and, uh, and it turns out uh, <laughs> I uh, can't get away with it. Um, I don't want to go there. Right, there's a Hydra coming. Let's fly away. Um, and I think it's also because, like, oh, that door did not exactly do what I hoped it would do. I thought it was blocking off the only exit, but it was not. Uh, fortunately, like as a Tengu with flight, you're just the tiniest bit faster than most things, and that's enough. All right, this is the wrong way to have run. All right, uh, so are we like done with this floor? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go downstairs, actually.
there has been going poorly, I have to say. Uh, oh. Okay, so since the last time I played uh, on Trunk, there have been a lot of changes to amulets. Um, and a few other things, but I, I have to like double check everything that happens with amulets before I before I mess with them. Like I thought, um, I don't want this. Like there are some amulets now that uh, you know when you take it off, the amulet destroys itself. Uh, I'm not sure what amulets those are. Um, so that's something I need to be aware of if I'm gonna wear ID amulets. Um, so like before I took off that amulet, I'm like, I'm sure the game would have warned me, really take off your amulet of uh, whatever the heck it was, regeneration. I'm sure it would have warned me if that was the one that actually does destroy itself. But, uh, you know, I, they're trying to discourage amulet swapping basically because, uh, ring swapping already exists and fills that design slash mechanic space. Why are there all these corpses on the ground? That's oh, necrophages. Sure, they've been eating it. You know, is the I guess the the theme of this vault. Um. So like, uh, shoot, where are they going? They they don't they don't want you to swap amulets so much, uh, and some of the most powerful amulets already had a. Uh, something discouraging you from swapping them, like Amulet of Faith when you take it off, like it'll, it reduces your piety by a fair bit. Um, and like Amulet of the Gourmand, which is not close to being one of the most powerful, uh, even had that. It probably still does, I haven't looked recently, which is that like, um, when you first put it on, it doesn't do anything until you've worn it for a while. And then it like gradually makes uh, eating chunks more tasty to your character. Uh, so it looks like now, for example, regeneration has that same sort of uh, warming up effect where at first it doesn't do anything and then gradually it starts to do more. Uh, I don't know exactly, like, if that's just because they don't want you to do amulet swapping or if there's some other reasons. Like, I understand they completely removed amulet of resist mutation, uh, which I haven't, I wasn't paying any attention at all to, like, why that is. Uh, is it because it was no fun to swap it? Is it because, ooh, that's nice. There's been some talk of like changing just how mutations as a whole work in a big way. But as far as I know, that hasn't been done yet. Uh, so I think it must be sort of unrelated to changing how resist mutation works. And I, I don't know if it ever will happen either. Um, I just, there's some talk of making like all mutations act kind of like Wretched Star temporary mutations. Oh, I can uh, fund merchants. Great. Uh, but that's not the main reason that, that I go goes egg funding merchants. Really, I mean, potion petition is like his strongest ability. I think, um, and it's you know it's nice to be able to buy stuff from shops too. Uh, like it helps, but I don't know. Most games, you have enough money to buy whatever is in stores that you want. Uh, so of course Gozeg makes that better in a few ways. He makes it like 100% guaranteed you can afford everything in all the shops that naturally show up. <laughs> and he, uh, he lets you make more shops if that's not good enough. This is, this is kind of funny because somebody, somebody was just saying earlier, oh, a Bicadrin ghost. It's a monk, so I guess it's probably got like 18 spells and a plus 10 crossbow. Because uh, he just like only plays monks and he doesn't play them at all like anyone else plays monks. But this one looks kind of like a normal monk, honestly. No spells, unarmed combat, uh, no weapon. But um, I don't know. I mean, I could probably fight this ghost, but I'd rather just go back upstairs and not fight him. 
So the thing I need to remember is that I like have potion petition. Uh, it's really strong, and I should use it when things are a little bit dicey. Uh, likewise, if I find some time before a fight begins or before it gets hairy, it would be nice to start flying. Um, in a few levels, we'll be able to fly permanently, but we can't yet, so... Ouch. All right, well, I'm going to be up here, guys. If you need help with that ghost, let me know. Oh, nice work. File of Floods is a good one. How are Tango at evocations? Not terrible. OK, we have Spider in our dungeon, evidently. A lot of webs. Ow, that hurts. Whew. Is there any like, poison resistance? No. Yeah, okay. So I don't know. They hurt, but I don't I don't have to let them hit me exactly. <laughs> That Lightning Spire does so much damage. I should be using that more. Power level, I guess, is pretty high, actually. Wow. Tango are good at that. One training still looks fine. Yeah, it's just like instantly kill things for four mana. I gotta say, that sounds like a good spell. On the other hand, that's uh, not quite as reliable as some other spells. Uh, ooh, Tango are good at conjurations. Do I want this? I think probably not. I'm killing stuff with summons and with weapons. I don't really need a third kill dudes. Yeah, I don't really need any of this. Why am I training so much air magic? I thought I was like, when I looked at this, I was like, oh, I'm a Tangu training air magic. Makes sense. I must be an air mage, air elementalist, rather. But I'm actually a summoner, so I've been doing all this just for lightning spire, uh, which actually does not seem right to me. Uh, once it hits 10, I should really turn it off. And, uh, ooh. and um, get summoning instead. Because, uh, I mean, it's great to have air magic training, don't get me wrong, and dang, you were good at it, so that's cool. This is going to be a lot of bees, so I'm hoping the lightning spire can get a lot of multi-shots in. I might have to just run away, but I might not. Yeah, there's a lot of bees. Okay. Let's keep an eye on that holy word. Not holy word, geez, uh, teleport. Um, do I have any Evo? I don't. But even so, a wand of draining might be pretty good here. Let's start flying. And then use a file of floods. Yeah, I just didn't want to be caught underwater, and uh, so I, I started flying first. Not underwater, but you know, in in shallow water. Okay, berserk killer bees. That is bad news. 
I don't have enough summons here to deal with this. I'm going to leave now before it gets real bad. Yeah. Okay. We don't have enough teleportation for me to be doing that so casually, though. Just like one left, right? Yeah. Did I get up to level 10? I did. Hmm. Uh, I was looking at, I was thinking of learning like summon guardian golem or something. I still don't totally like get how useful that one is. I mean, I would like summon forest. But that's a ways off. I think the spell set I have now, combined with my weapon, should be enough to do Lair. Uh, and also Gozag. I forgot to use Potion Petition again, just like I was saying I should not forget. So let's try a Potion Petition, actually. I mean, it's 400 gold, which is a lot. But gold is a renewable resource, and scrolls of teleportation are not. Invisibility, agility, might, and brilliance. That's like everything I could possibly want. Well, I guess I would actually like resistance and haste. Uh, but I don't need flight, and I don't want to pay another 250 for haste. With uh, like, and I want. I want might, so give me. I'll take B, please. Package B. Yeah, this ought to be actually pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so well, I really just need to take care of the queen bee because she is causing all of these other threats to be a lot worse. Yeah, but they can't see me, which is really, really nice. And they're too stupid to figure out where I am. So that was, that was a big help from Gozag there. I mean, this is why I like Gozag. I mean, I'm not afraid to say it, guys. He's not the best god in the world, but He's a lot better than people often say. Uh, you know, you certainly will can find people who say that, like, oh, worshiping Gozag is just like suicide. It's worse than atheist. Like, potion petition is just so good. And the food. I mean, you know, I admit to feeling a little bit of anxiety about food earlier, but I know that I. Don't need to. There's going to be plenty of food eventually. And look, there it is. There's all the food I could possibly want. One Hydra. So I could try, for example, a Potion Petition and then drop a bunch of summons. And that would probably work. But it would cost me some money. And uh, I don't really need to. Like, I can just put down a Lightning Spire and fly away. <laughs> And uh, see how he gets along. Really? Like, he's not hes not having a good time. Yeah, good work, guys. There's a spider down here somewhere. Ooh, ow. Level 12, give me, what have I been training? Wow, I have a lot of extra decks. Uh, I must have some, oh yeah, that ring and my weapon, I guess. Yeah, that does it. Uh, but I'll take more int, I like summoning stuff. Oh, I'm lethally poisoned. Why did I not get that warning? I did. Okay, let's, ugh. I would really love for a louder warning message when you're lethally poisoned. 
I mean, it's fine. I can just drink a potion of curing here. I just feel like you shouldn't be able to tab through a thing that says you're lethally poisoned. I mean, and so like the answer to that is just you know put a force more in your uh, in your RC, of course. Um, and when I'm playing under the account A Malloy, that's what I do when I realize I'm missing a force more. I just save, edit, it, and load. But I don't want to like save, switch to my A Malloy account, edit it. Yeah. Uh, Black Mamba, Black Mamba. How are we doing on time, by the way? Like, do I want to do all of Lair in one video? I don't really. Let's, uh, let's finish Lair 5. And that'll probably be about half of the time I spend in Lair. Uh, just because the last floor should be harder. Uh... So like layer one through five should take a comparable amount of time to layer six through eight. I don't know, we'll see. That's my plan. A buckler. Ooh. And and an elephant. That's less exciting. I mean it's it's equally exciting, but I'm less happy about it. All right, elephants. I am going to have to excuse myself here. See if maybe my lightning spire can handle you. Wow, good work, lightning spire. I am like super impressed by lightning spire this game. I'm curious what Gozag thinks of my wealth. He thinks I'm a capitalist. Okay. That's fine. You need like a ton of money for Gozag to be really happy with you. But I mean, his his, his happiness doesn't make any difference at all. It's just sort of a flavor thing. Um, you know, as long as you can afford to buy whatever it is you need at the moment, he doesn't care if you have extra money left over. Um, unlike some other gods who are like, you know, okay, it costs you five piety to use heroism, but you gotta have at least 20 piety to use it, you know, or whatever Okawara's rules are. Um, so, but Gozag, like, you... I forget what the high... The, like, I think the highest ranking one uh, for Gozag is Plutocrat. Um, meaning, like, ruling through money um somebody rich enough to be the king basically uh but i think you get that at some outrageous amount of gold and at ten thousand, you get tycoon or something which seems like it's the last one but it's actually not if i recall correctly i don't i don't know if i do though Yeah, there's shoals, of course. And, yeah, with all these summons, everything seems to be going fine. I just... And my weapon training is continuing, of course. Uh, I noticed that we are now the basher. That's our highest skill. Um, and so, like... I'm sure I've said this before. Uh, in a lot of different ways, but... It, it may seem like, oh, you're not really playing a summoner if your, like, main skill is the is bashing stuff, right? Uh, but, you know, you should be summoning, right? But, but it, your background is, is exactly that. It's, it's a background, what you did before you got to the dungeon. It, it doesn't have to dictate what you do to survive. Ooh! Really? I have some spells to learn. Mostly just blink and apportation. Uh, I would be happy to pick up Passage of Galubria, but now is not the time. 
Um, let me just drop all these stupid books. I don't want any of them anymore. Um, where was I going? Right, just uh, so almost every character I end up like tabbing stuff because it's just way more magic efficient than spamming whatever spell and then like waiting uh, if you have summons or just uh, you know hitting fireball over and over for wimpy threats. It's much more mana efficient to just tab them. And you have enough mad, uh, XP that you can afford to do that. Cursed plus zero buckler. Have I identified remove curse? I have. I just don't have any. All right, well. Looks like it's going to be a while before Blink gets online, but the rest of the stuff is fine. Let's turn on that. I don't, I don't have a weapon. How much does that need? 14. All right. Uh, so we're getting, I hope, pretty close to the end of the video. Uh, hey, look at that. Uh, so we're done with their five, uh, and uh, I think that's enough for now. Uh, I, I don't want to get into the, the habit of like hour, hour, some, some odd long videos. Uh, but it looks like I, I'm glad that I didn't kill this character right away. <laughs> Cause I was worried, like pick up a character I haven't played in over a month and like just immediately splat him after his, oops, what button is it there? He's played like an hour already, so I, I don't want to kill him, but it seems like he's, he's in good shape. He, this, this should be a winnable character as long as I, uh, play carefully. Uh, and I, I hope you guys will stick around and watch me win him. Uh, which will not happen in the next episode, but there will be uh, some more progress on the way. So until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.